Yo, what is up guys, it's Lee here. Uh, we're playing Terraria. So, uh, we are gonna make, or I have decided, we're gonna do a a ranger playthrough. From the start to the finish, we're gonna start, you know, here, chopping some wood, and we're gonna kill the moon lord at the end. Don't know how long this is gonna take, because, you know, some, some worlds you spend 40, 50 hours on. But I'll try and run it through. I've only finished Terraria once. Uh, you know, the f all the bosses and, it, you know, finish as in kill all the bosses, I mean. Uh, once, and that was with the Mage class. So, this time, I want to do it as a as a Ranger, you know. So, it will only be um, weapons that are with the ranged uh, damage type. So, it's mostly art like archer uh, bows and uh, guns so yeah we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes so we're not allowed to use any 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 sort of weapon other than a bow so i see a slime incoming so i just wanna jump over this guy what we need to do is build ourselves a uh, we're not allowed to use any sort of weapon other than a bow so we're just gonna ow 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 come on mr. guide <laughs> okay let's run to him nice there we go that took way longer than it should have we're just gonna build our first little base here uh, just a small little house so we can get the the guide to move in and then once the guide is moved in, we will also we build two houses so that we can get the what do you call it the uh, the merchant to move in as well. So yeah, that's our first plan of action. There we go. That would be there. We need a door. Build one like that. There we go. So yeah, um, we. I'm gonna see if I can give any of the tips that I have. Uh, that I have, you know, I'm, I'm not very good at the game, but I have a fair knowledge of what is happening, where to go, what to do. Obviously, um, one of the biggest tips I can give you guys is to firstly use the wiki. You know, it's there for a reason because there's way too much for everybody to remember in this game. If you can, bravos to you. I am extremely jealous of your memory. Uh, stand up there. Jump here. Uh, there we go. To this is just for the the uh, merchant. Once we have enough silver, so your merchant NPC can only move in once you have. Uh, 50 silver in your uh, inventory so the first uh, one of your first what do you call it one of your first objectives to get is to get 50 silver and it comes really f relatively fast if you you know fight your the uh, the slimes you know you can find the slimes for it because they're not too hard in the beginning but there we go. Oh, almost. I'm gonna fill this one up. There we go. We we will build it nice and nice and smooth like in the future. But for now, we're just gonna get our uh, frenzing wooden bow. So did you know you can recraft your wooden bow to see until you get its best? Uh, zealous. I'm happy with zealous. Now we need uh, stone so that we can make some uh, arrows, you know, so that we can have something to shoot with our bow. <laughs> I see some stone down here. Um, do we need to pull that at a think so let's just pick up those mushrooms because the mushrooms in the start give you some uh, yeah restores 15 life so it is a good early item to get or yeah so there we go let's make some arrows 
125 should be fine for now. There we go, we got our first weapon. Good job, team. Slime is really nice early on because uh, you can make, oh wow, your torches with the slime. And you can make flaming arrows, which is also nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make now. I'm gonna grab some more of this. And yeah, let's make 30. Let's make all the torches. And then until we have 100 flaming arrows. There we go. We should be in, in uh, contention for some mining housing is suitable is already occupied oh he moved up in he moved in in upstairs that's 100 percent uh what are we doing oh we need to create armor it's not going to be the best armor but it's going to be something oh just some protection there we go and then let's see if we can find a little cave so I guess to the right it is. Let's see if we can find a cave and hide from all these things. Can I jump? Oh yeah. Nice. See maybe we can go in this side? Yeah. I'm gonna block it off. There we go. I need that there. And let's see what we can find. Some ropes. A and a chest. Let's see. We got a lucky aglet, which gives us more critical strike chance. That's gonna help. Some ropes and shuriken. So the shuriken also is range damage, so we can use that. There we go. Let's see, we, we're gonna do some. some mining. Or, oh, exploit years, some, something. I think that's lead. Should be lead. Yes, some lead ore. Good job. We're gonna grab some stone while we're here as well. So we can make ourselves a furnace. And some more arrows, if need be. Oh, I see something down there to the left. I'm not gonna dig all the way there now. <laughs> see what is here little worm oh another chest a hurtful spear ah oh, unlucky I'm not allowed to use it <laughs> would have been a good start if we weren't rangers you know I'm incapable of using that I'm gonna grab some clay as well now that I see it because that is definitely uh, nice to have especially when we're gonna start making our farm yeah we're gonna have a little farm as well so we can make all our potions so I do have a couple of um, objectives for this little playthrough that we're gonna do you know I want to do I want to hit fishing I want to do a proper farm, some builds we can do, I'll do time lapse of proper builds, you know, where I am quiet and some awesome Terraria music playing in the background. I think that's one of my ideas, you guys should let me know if you do like that idea. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> and see if it works out, if not, and it doesn't, if it does, awesome, you know. That's just the little plan that I had for this now we're just gonna move we're gonna do some mining there's a zombie that spawned inside he's gonna give me torches yes gave me five torches always um grab your chests that they give you that spawn in because uh then it is that free that is a free chest, you know, and chest takes quite a bit of resources, especially early on. Hey, some silver ore. Thank you, slime. It's in there. Oh, some slimes. Gonna grab that now. 
Uh, let's see, is there any dirt blocks that I have? Oh, I've got some clay. Here's a dirt block. I don't want to use my wood. Could have probably used my, my rope. I forgot I had rope. bar that I'm spamming so that I can hit everything. I would like to jump up there. Mm. There we go. Hey, more shurikens. Nice. Let's see. Oh, good job. Here's a diamond tree. That's awesome. So, what is cool about the diamond tree, or what I normally do when I find them because we want the gems so that we can make ourselves a hook as soon as possible we got two diamonds not too bad then you can make yourself a diamond gem corn which you can replant the tree which is really cool so I can grow back in a bit and you can come and just repeat and then hopefully we'll have five <laughs> no 15 it is it's definitely 15 and we're already on our flaming arrows which is good we made them for that reason the terrain is quite quite hard to oh no burn oh i see it our, our first house yes good that should be the makings of a a nice chest in there should have a gold chest which is awesome hey and we got our first heart that's awesome so i think as we get the life crystal we get more hp and then it stands or it gives us the chance to uh get the uh what do you call it the nurse npc Oh, band of regeneration. That's nice. There we go. We put that in there. Then when you get the bombs, oh, an 80 silver. Nice. And when you get the bombs, you have chance for the the demolitionist to move in. So yeah, they should spawn in relatively soon. You just need an explosive in your inventory for it to to spawn. little silver ore yeah let's get it let's definitely get it so you want to use your ropes always as early as possible like oh well they give it to you so i mean why not use it you know jump in there i want to get up there we go until you get your your uh your 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 grapple hook which is when the real fun starts especially when it comes to mining because then you can grapple all over the place there we go now we can mine down so i think what we're going to do is we're going to get a silver pickaxe first uh, we want to get our mining power up, pickaxe power up as quick as possible. I see the trap there. You want to be careful for the traps. Hey, you see, Humphrey the merchant has arrived. Because we have enough silver in our inventory. What we do want to do is then, because we... There we go. You see that little thing over there? That's on the, the rock there. Once I mine that gonna give me the brown pressure plate which um, is for this trap over here you see it right there uh, that block that looks a little funny down over there a dart trap so you always want to be careful for those especially when you're playing uh, your expert modes or your hard modes or whatever because those are literally designed to end the run so yeah just watch out for them 
I've died my fair share against them because they do poison damage as well. Not sure if they all do poison damage, but I normally get the, the poison debuff once I'm shot with it. Never ever jump somewhere where you can't see. There we go. Okay, so I see a lot of... Oh no. Let's just put ourselves a thing there because I can't see. I'm going to have to jump for air soon. Oh, go down. <laughs> so I need to, to Oh, there's another life crystal Nice, it's been a rather successful Dungeon crawl Or, not a dungeon crawl More of a Little mining expedition Because <laughs> there is a dungeon And we're going to have to make more torches So let's do that quickly We've got Enough Oh, we can eat our life crystal. There we go. Mine this one and replant. How much do we get? Give me five. That was one. Oh yes, I used it to make diamond. Oh yeah. There we go. The traveling merchant already. Damn, we need to go check what he sells. What is he is selling? Let's see. He has foe. Oh, the celestial magnet, but I'm not really gonna use it because I'm a ranger. So magic ad. Oh, he's selling literally everything for <laughs> for a, a a mage. It's rather sad. Yo, okay, guys. So we have made some upgrades, right? Uh, oh, there's some things lying over there. Uh, we got some shingles from the traveling merchants, we put some roof up, we made some clay pots so that our farm is basically started. Uh, we made a little crafting area here where our mining goods are in and I put some farming stuff in there, you know, for like later on and some uh, consumables, but we'll sort that out once we get there. Some blocks and some material that we'll be using. There is also some fishing things and dye in here, which is all good. Then, I'm going to put that in there because we do have potions now. Um, yeah, so this has been the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will catch up in the next one where we are probably going to run the map, see what is to the left, what is to the right, and yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like, tell me what you want to see. Uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.